Hello folks and welcome. So today's video is in regards to NVIDIA graphics cards and the NVIDIA graphics driver. The GPU driver for the NVIDIA graphics cards. And this is not a problem that affects all NVIDIA graphics cards, but it affects some. You uh, decided to either install a new NVIDIA graphics card and you upgraded the proprietary, I'm sorry, you upgraded from the open source driver to proprietary driver, and you're now switching into a high resolution mode like 4K and it's cutting off your icons on the left, right, and part of the panel. In other words, the screen's too big. And you're searching for information on the internet and maybe you, you had some success, but then you ran into a problem where you can't save anything into this area here, NVIDIA settings. I'm going to address that problem today. I did this on my previous YouTube channel, but that channel is closed. So I'm going to redo this video for this channel. I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. If you have problems saving those files. So I'm filming in 1920 by 1080, so I can say, uh, spare you the smaller icons, but I'm going to be talking about 4k modes in this video. And again, this does not affect all NVIDIA graphics cards, but it does some. And I'm sure someone will run into this problem because I just did a brand new 12 gigabyte video card on a new installation just the other day. And it cut off my icons. All right, but I, I know how to address that problem because I've seen this before. So anyways, LM21.2 Cinnamon, I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. You can adjust your YouTube player accordingly, and I do highly encourage that you subscribe to Linux for Seniors. Now, let's open up settings for a second. So this is where you are switching res modes. You're going from 1080, which works beautifully, and you went through 3840 by 2160, and all your icons are being cut off. And you're scratching your head. You tried different scaling, nothing. Then you look on the internet and somebody says, are you running on NVIDIA driver? You should have an NVIDIA settings box. I'm not talking open source here, folks. So as a matter of fact, I, I rarely ever see this on the open source driver. So the open source driver normally doesn't produce this problem, only the proprietary. And this is a problem that I've seen before a long time ago. When you install a proprietary driver, and the reasoning behind that may be is because you're doing a little bit of gaming and you want the faster driver. All right, this one does work fairly well, but you switch to the NVIDIA driver, whichever version you have. And then uh, you looked on the internet and somebody suggested to adjust your underscan in the NVIDIA settings because it's cutting off your icons. So you open this box and you go to display configuration and there's your underscan. Any number positive will pull your screen in on all sides. So on mine, mine is 43 inches, um, a 27 works good. Okay, so you put in 27 and you hit apply. So if you are wanting to save this information because let's face it, you wanna reboot the machine at some point or uh, turn it on and off, uh, you want that number to stay. So the save configuration file would be advisable. So you go in here and it doesn't matter if you do a merge or by itself and you hit the save and it requests your password. In this case, Mary's just a made up name. I could have used Bob or Mark or whatever today, but it's Mary. So I put in my password and I hit authenticate and this is what you'll see. Unable to open X config file for writing because you don't have the authorization to write to that file. In other words, save it. I'm going to show you how to get rid of this box because it'll drive you nuts. You'll hit OK and you'll see that the this part here will still be there and you hit quit and you think you're all good to go until you reboot or shut down the system and bring it up and it's right back to where it was cutting off your icons again because it never saved anything. So I'm going to show you a way you can uh, address writing to this settings. In other words, to save them. And that's done with an, a command. If you get nothing out of this video, again, highly encourage that you subscribe so you have this for future reference. 
case you decide to upgrade that video card and you run into this problem. All right, I'm going to break the whole line to, down to you. You're going to be doing this in terminal. sudo is super user do space chmod space plus x. This part here is going to make a change to have you be able to write to this file here. That file is NVIDIA's policy kit. In other words, the settings for this area here is that allows you to save if you put in a plus X. It allows you to save. Okay, so it's currently set at minus X. In other words, you can't write to it. Make sure that you punch in the path correctly. All right, so I'm going to one more time encourage that you subscribe to have this for later in case you upgrade your video card. I'm going to copy this and close and close. Open up your terminal box. If you're not comfortable with terminal, you at least want to do this one. I know a lot of folks are not comfortable with terminal, but this is the only way I can get you to understand how to correct this problem. So you type this just like it is. And again, all you're doing is changing the attribute to allow you to write or save to that file. As soon as you hit enter, it'll ask you for your password. In this case, Mary's. And you get a blank line when you get done with that. How do you, how do you figure out how, if it's saved properly? So right click on your panel bar, system settings, go back to the NVIDIA settings open up the display configuration, just test it out, hit the save button and uh, put in your password. You get no error, you're good to go. So you can fix your problem by using an underscan, whatever number that is, that's probably too much. But anyways, on this particular 43 inch screen, uh, usually a 26 or I think a 28 on mine will work and then I would hit apply and then save. That way, when I reboot the machine, I don't have to go in here and manually do this constantly, because if you do, do not have the authorization to save, this always returns to zero. Hopefully that was clear. So again, it does not affect all graphics cards. This one here works just fine. I don't have to do any of that nonsense. But my other brand new 12 gigabyte video card that I bought three or four months ago does this. And I even tried different Linux kernels, 5.15 and 6.5. They all do the same problem. So it had nothing to do with the, the drive. I mean, the kernel, it has more to do with the NVIDIA driver. So saving your NVIDIA settings, if you follow that procedure, you should be able to save that. And I'll say thank you for watching.